Hey, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make PLR articles unique using ChatGPT. We're going to be using ChatGPT, which is a very popular free AI writing tool to rewrite and expand upon PLR article. And if you're not familiar with PLR, it stands for Private Label Rights. It's basically done for you content such as social media posts, images, videos, articles, which you can purchase for a fairly low price and then either rebrand them as your own or turn them into something even better and then brand them as your own. And you can use them on social media. You can use them on your website. You can use them to create products that you then sell. And AI writing software like ChatGPT makes this a whole lot easier and faster. So first of all, if you need some PLR, I've got two great free options for you. There'll be two affiliate links in the description one of which goes to this landing page at Tools for Motivation. And it's just a massive free PLR, which is primarily focused in the self-help slash personal improvement niche. And uh, there's a whole lot of great stuff in there. The article I'm going to be working with today is actually from this bundle. And uh, if you want to get a little bit more PLR or if self-help PLR is not what you're after, then you can use the other link to go to this website, PLRME. And when you use my affiliate link to sign up for PLRME, you actually get 10 free credits and then you'll get two credits a month just for maintaining a free account. You can see I'm on a free account right now and I've got two credits this month. And so you'll have 10 credits that you can immediately use to get uh, probably two or three articles or whatever other content you might want to use that for. And this is the article I'm going to be using. You can see it is a little over 550 words and it's got a title, it's got an introduction, and it's got six list-based sections. And so that's a pretty good start for an article. And so I'm just gonna hit Control A and Control C to copy this. And I'm gonna come over here to chat GPT, and I'm gonna put in my command first in this uh, little area down here. This, this is the text entry area for chat GPT. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of space, and then I'm gonna include the article. And so I'm gonna use a command that tells it what I want it to do with the article, and then I'm gonna include the full text of the article. So we can start with something like rewrite and expand upon the following article, article in the voice of a 36 year old male personal trainer named Daryl, who is inspiring his clients followers to manage their time better. Remember, the article is about managing your time. So we'll start with that. And then I think I'll say something like, use active voice and inspire language. Add a seventh section to flesh out ideas and include a conclusion paragraph with a call to action to follow Daryl on social media. All right, so that's going to be my command. It doesn't have to be exactly like that. Now, there's a lot of ways that you can write a command like this. The way that I chose to go with here is that I'm just saying to rewrite and expand upon the article from the perspective of a specific type of person. So this is uh, self-help content, right? And it's about managing your time, but there's lots of different ways that you can talk about managing time. And there's lots of different people, lots of different uh, business owners and service providers who might build their audience or sell something by encouraging people to manage their time better. And so what I did is give this a specific context so that ChatGPT knows who's using this content and how to customize it for them. It's uh, a man named Daryl, who is a personal trainer, 36 years old. And I asked it to include a conclusion paragraph with a strong call to action because there currently isn't one. So I could make that a little bit more complex and a little bit more detailed, but I think I'm just going to try it the way it is for now. So I'm going to hold shift and hit enter twice. And that's just going to bring me down to a new line. And then I'll hit control V to paste in all of the text. And I just want to make sure I got all the text. So I'm going to go back to the document here. Uh, let's try to do, yeah, try to do less is the last one. So you got the full text in there and now I just need to hit enter or click this button and chat GPT is reading the command. It's reading the content and it's going to rewrite this for me. So you can see we've got, uh, what was the original title? 
Uh, the original title was Six Changes to Your Schedule to Help You Manage Your Time Like a Pro. And ChatGPT has given us the title, Mastering Time Management, Six Essential Shifts to Control Your Day. All right, so it said six essential shifts instead of seven, um, but it might still write a seventh point because I didn't tell it to change the number in the title. I just told it to add the extra section. So we'll see what happens there. But basically what it's doing is it just took the text that I provided and it's going to reframe that from the context of the imaginary personal trainer that I described. And so you can see here that it didn't add the extra section as uh, a number. Instead, it included it as a bonus tip, which is also a good idea. So I can just change that part myself if I want. And then you notice here that it started to write the conclusion and the call to action, but it looks like maybe it ran out of characters. So I can just say continue generating and it should finish that for me. And we have the call to action. If you want more inspiration and tips to maximize your potential, follow me on social media. Together we'll conquer time and achieve greatness. All right, so that's pretty good. And it includes some hashtags at the bottom. So what I can do now is read through this and see what it changed from the original article, what it kept the same. And then if I find anything that I want it to do differently, I can just give it additional instructions down here and it will rewrite those sections for me. So after a quick read through of this, it looks like it completely changed the tone of the article. It really did a good job of taking the generic PLR content and putting it in a first person tone of voice that related to the character that I gave it. Um, and for the sections here, it actually changed the name of most of the sections while keeping it meaning the same thing. And then of course the content within those is also completely unique. And let's say that I wanted the bonus tip to just be the seventh tip. Then I could just tell it to do something like make the bonus tip into tip number seven and rewrite the title accordingly. And so, okay, it's going to the, rewrite the whole article. I thought it would probably just do the, uh, the part that I asked for, but it looks like it's going to rewrite the whole thing. So seven essential shifts to master your time and achieve productivity paradise. Okay, so it, it actually wrote a completely different title. I, I did ask it to rewrite the title. So now I've got two titles. I could use either of those. I could use some combination of them. And uh, it should, looks like it's just giving me the exact same article, but it's going to include the seventh tip as a numbered section like the others. So that's pretty much it. I could go into a lot more detail, but ultimately what I'm trying to teach you here is kind of a framework of how to use AI for rewriting. There are a number of different ways that you can do it, but with ChatGPT specifically, the easiest way is just to tell it what you want it to do and include the entire text that you want it to rewrite in that command like I did at the beginning. And then from there, just stay in the same ChatGPT conversation and tell it any additional instructions that you want it to include, such as turning reflect and refine into the seventh part point instead of a bonus point. And you can see it ran out of characters here again at the end, so I can just say continue generating, and it will uh, finish off with the conclusion and the call to action. And that's it. It's, it's pretty simple uh, working with ChatGPT. There are other tools that are a little bit more complex and expensive, and uh, I prefer working with them most of the time for my own business. But I know that ChatGPT is really popular right now, and obviously it's very accessible because there's a free version available. And so if you're not sure about getting into AI writing and you just kind of want to test it out, ChatGPT is probably the easiest place to start. And you can sign up for a free account and play around with it just like this. All right, remember to follow me if you want updates, and I'll catch you in the next video.